guys? I'm Baker Manning and I've been working in the yachting industry on and off since um, 2013 and throughout that time I've worked full-time as a deck stew on a 130-foot Westport and then seasonally on an 80-foot sailing yacht and then most recently I was a deckhand on a charter yacht um, on season 5 of Bravo's reality TV show Below Deck. <laughs> Um, and throughout all of my yachting adventures, I've spent a lot of time in the Caribbean, the Bahamas, Southern Florida, um, New England, and then also Virginia. Um, but let me back it up a little bit and tell you guys about myself before I even knew what a yachty was. <laughs> so my discovery of the yachting industry came at the perfect time in my life. I was 25 years old and I was single hungry for adventure, and I was also ready for a new chapter in my life at the time. I had been living and working abroad ever since I graduated college. So over those four years, I moved from South Carolina to Colorado to Argentina to Lake Tahoe, California. I waited tables, I taught English, I learned Spanish, I became a tour guide and a fitness instructor, and um, all of these new experiences, each one brought on a positive transformation. And I wanted to continue that journey, um, and I had no intention of slowing down anytime soon. But while I enjoyed the nomadic lifestyle, I was ready for a little more structure and financial stability and, let's just say, discipline in my life. So I was kind of at a crossroads. And I was beginning to notice that a lot of my friends were, were starting this adulting thing. <laughs> they were settling down, getting real jobs, and even getting married and having kids. And as I got older, I felt like there was some kind of growing pressure that I should be doing the same thing. But I knew I wasn't ready for that yet, if ever. Um, but at the same time, I also knew that I wasn't using my skills and capabilities to the fullest potential. So I needed a new challenge, something entirely foreign that I could immerse, my, immerse myself in. <laughs> and that is when I discovered the yachting industry. <laughs> so the personal growth and development that I gained while living and working on a yacht surpassed all of my previous endeavors combined. Um, I came into the wonderful world of yachting feeling capable and confident like I was pretty good at this whole life thing, but I learned very quickly that I had a lot to learn about a lot of stuff. <laughs> and that brings us to getting hired. <laughs> so back then I knew absolutely nothing about working on yachts, but I was willing to do anything to make it happen. And I think that a majority of aspiring yachties are in the same boat. It's like we all have the same goal, to get a job on a yacht, but most of us have no clue how to get there. And no matter where we start from, or no matter where you start from, we all have to take the same general route and pass through the same waypoints and checkpoints to get from point A to C. <laughs> and it usually is something like this. First, you have to get inspired, then you relocate to a yachting hub, then you're gonna complete training, then you have to do lots of networking so that you can begin day working and gaining experience, and then you get interviews and hopefully you get hired. But as with any journey, there's usually more than one way to arrive at your destination. Some people like to take the most efficient way and then there's people like me, and let's just say I took the scenic route. <laughs> If you follow my journey on the map from point A to C, you can see that I swerved off course just about every step of the way. And although I did eventually reach my destination, I left a lot of mistakes in my wake. And, you know, looking back, I could have saved myself a lot of time, effort, money, and embarrassment if I had been more strategic and used the proper knowledge, tools, and techniques to propel me forward. So that is where the Yacht Job Handbook and Yacht Job Crew University come into play. If you follow the steps in these guides, you can streamline your journey and avoid taking the scenic route as I did. <laughs>
Okay, so I have never in my life been more lost than when I got thrown into my first full-time job in the yachting industry. Um, when I refer to a greenhorn in this guide, I'm referring to someone who is completely clueless, like I was, when it comes to anything having to do with living and working on a yacht. And when I was starting out, I was the green queen. <laughs> so, as a deck stew, I was intended to do a variety of tasks that involved maintaining both the interior and the exterior of the boat. However, I knew absolutely nothing about either, so I was double dumb, as I like to call it. <laughs> um, needless to say, I did learn a lot about myself those first few weeks, including the fact that despite my former inflated impression of my intelligence, competence, and capabilities, I do not, in fact, have any common sense. <laughs> And if left to my own devices without very adequate and detailed instructions, I am inevitably going to find every possible way to do a simple task incorrectly. <laughs> but most importantly, I did learn that with enough determination and repetition, I can eventually learn how to do anything and maybe even do it well. <laughs> when I had you first on Afterdeck, we played a little game about Yachty of the Week and Dingy of the Week. Now the last episode of After Deck. Let's do Yachty of the Season and Dingy of the Season. Zanker's got to get Yachty of the Season. Yes. Obviously. Yeah. MVP. Yep. No doubt about it. It's like landslide, unanimous, Twitter agrees, Instagram agrees, you agree, the crew agrees, Baker. So that was an audio clip of Kate Chastain and Captain Lee from Bravo TV's show Below Deck talking about who won Yachty of the Season. And in case you didn't hear it, it was me. <laughs> now, Below Deck is not known for picking a crew of Yachty All-Stars by any means, but I'll take what I can get. <laughs> Either way, who would have thought that that same hopeless green queen I was when I started would be voted the Yachty of the season of Below Deck Season 5? <laughs> so, after several seasons of training, performing the same tasks hundreds of times and making a lot of mistakes, I did manage to make the transformation from the green queen to a somewhat seasoned yachty. And I'm not claiming to be a yacht crew expert, far from it in fact, but I'm just coming at you as a fellow yachty greenhorn, just one who's already been through everything we're going to talk about in this guide. So the good thing is I know what it's like to start from scratch, knowing nothing, and I can help you. <laughs> they say that the best way to learn is by making mistakes. So if that is the case, then you can consider me an expert because I have literally made all of the mistakes you can make. You know, I've tried my best to share them with you so that hopefully you don't have to. <laughs> so... Word from the wise, learn from Bake's mistakes and avoid looking so dumb in front of all those yachty hotties like I did. <laughs> so my advice to you is that no matter how hopeless things may seem in the beginning, just stick with it. I promise if you try your best, things will get better and they may even get spectacular. If I can do it, you can do it.